into truth complement for example let's say we want to write 73.75 now if you have a decimal and we want to convert into binary we have to do the truth complement so first what we do is we find out the positive representation of this like 73.75 how we can represent this one for positive then we find out the truth complement for it so that becomes negative value of it so let's uh, do the positive so for, when we are dealing with positive to convert a decimal into binary we take the integer whole number into one se separately and the decimal point decimal fraction values separately so here 0 0.75 we deal with this one separately and 73 separately now the easiest methods to convert the decimal into binary the decimal integer into binary is by looking at the weight the weight of the binary numbers goes like 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 and if you write them in number it start from 1 2 and it, it doubles each time so 1 2 4 uh, 8 and then 16 and then we had to look at until which one we go we can get 73 so i keep on going until i get a feel that i can get 73 up to this so like 16 32 64 i think 64 is enough to der derive 73 because we have to add some numbers to get 73 so 64 and an 8 that is 72 and if i add 1 to that that's 73 others are 0 so we we already found out 73 in binary okay so 100 zero, zero, one zero zero one that's 73 but we have to do this point seven five. we have to convert the point seven five into binary as well so 0 0.75 and to convert a decimal fraction number into binary what we do is we multiply that one by two until we get like 0 0.00 something like that so here if i multiply with this one by two this is 1.5 and here we have one so that one comes here and then 0.5 we only get the value after decimal point so that's 0.5 in this case 0.5 multiplied by 2 that's 1.0 1.0 so here also we have 1 and we had a situation that is 0 0.0 so we stop right there and this one is enough so here uh, we have this one 0.11 <laughs> okay so sometime you know the question may require give the integer number into this many bits and um, the decimal fraction frax, the fraction into this many bits for example here we have four bits seven bits for the integer part and for the decimal part we have two bits so if the question asks okay give uh, the answer in eight bits you have to add a zero here eight bits for the integer number and four bits for the um, fraction number you have to add zero to the left side for the integer one and uh, zero to the right side for the fraction one so here we don't have like we we are going to see how to convert this one only so now we have derived 73.75 positive positive 73.75 is this value so the next thing is uh, we want to convert this one into negative so if you want to convert this one to negative so let's say we have uh, here we have how many bits we have like seven bits so we we need one extra bit to represent the negative number so we put a zero in front and then one zero one zero zero one zero zero one point one one so that is one extra bit <clears throat> now we can go ahead and uh, find out the negative representation first uh, to do the negative representation we have to find the two's complement of this to find the two's complement the best way is find the one's complement and add one to that so one's complement is basically we flip all the numbers if it's zero we turn them into one if it's one we turn them into zero so here this is zero so this one becomes one zero one one zero one one zero point zero zero <clears throat> okay so here we have this uh, ones complement and if you add one to this that's a twos complement 
so here if you add one to that since it's zero this is easy because others gonna remain the same only the last digit becomes one so one zero one one zero one one zero point zero one and this is the two's complement and that is equivalent to this one is equivalent to negative 73.75 okay that's how we can convert uh, negative decimal fraction into binary okay i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video